Hey guys, I'm back. It's my show Productions, baby, as I struggle to find my string. You know, I don't want to be negative. I want to spread positivity and happiness and love. But this, like, I watched this for five seconds and it started pissing me off. I get pissed off really easy. So this is Dick Lit Burning by Mick Bussy. Okay, that makes sense. In case anyone doesn't know, bussy means boy pussy. And you're going to find out why in a second. Well, a little pretext to how I stumbled on this dumb, dumb video. It's dumb. Obviously, it has way more views than anything I've ever created. 12,000. But, uh... <clears throat> I'll just give you a little bit of pretext on how I found this video. Um, so for the past, I don't know, 10 years, I've been drinking and smoking a lot. And I'm getting a little bit older now, a little wiser. I'm trying to find healthier habits for myself. Because I feel like as we grow older, you can stagnate because you become comfortable. And I, I don't want that. I want to I wanna continue to grow and get better with age. So I decided to swap out drinking and smoking with reading. I figured reading would be a good, healthy habit for me. Uh, right now, Cormac McCarthy... Blood Meridian. That's kind of what I'm reading right now. You know, I've... I don't really have a lot of experience reading. I'll be honest with you. But I'd never heard of the term dick lit. Before. And, uh... So this video is about burning books created by men. I guess who are deemed problematic or something. But uh, let's just watch this together. Hey guys, Book Guy sixty nine here with another video. Book Book Guy sixty nine. <laughs> so funny. Uh, Today is going to be a little different. I just got back from my first uh, women in literature class at my local. Okay, one sec. I'm gonna have to like pause this and see if. Uh... I don't know if this is like the audio is being recorded. So one sec. All right, we're good to go. I'll rewind it just a little bit. Okay, what? Uh, today's going to be a little different. I just got back from my first uh, women in literature class at my local community college. I just got back from my women in literature class. Which, you know, on its own is not a bad thing. But you're going to see why this guy's a fucking idiot. And um, during the getting to know you phase, when we were supposed to say our name and our favorite books, um, the entire class laughed at me and said that... The entire class laughed at me because of the books that I was reading. Sounds like you're surrounded by a bunch of assholes. And then he pops this on the screen. I'll never get any <laughs> at this rate. So you're going to women's literature class to try to uh, score some <laughs> You are a <laughs> That's your problem. I'm going to tell you right now, the reason you can't get <laughs> is because you are a <laughs> And uh, believe it or not, trying to be a woman is not going to be the best way to get a woman. <sighs> I got to get some <laughs> <laughs> What are you, 13 years old? Like... Jesus Christ, dude. I only read dick lit. So, I just wanted to show that, um... Rising Up and Rising Down. William T. Volman. I've never even heard of that book. Like I said... Uh... Let's see what this is about. It's a seven-volume essay on the subject of violence. 
first published by McSweeney in 2003. It was, nom- it was nominated for the National Book Critics Circle Award. The Circle Jerk Award, a single volume condensed version, was published at the end of the year. I did it for the money. Attempts to establish a moral calculus to consider the causes, effects, and ethics of violence. Okay. Analyzing the actions and motivations of historical filler, uh, figures. Ex- <laughs> uh, the, the seven. Uh, the, the, no, sorry. <clears throat> Sometimes I just kind of revert back to my natural state. So he's talking about Napoleon, Abraham Lincoln, John Brown, Robespierre, don't know what that means, Cortez, Trotsky, Stalin, and uh, Gandhi. And, and uh, Chinggis Khan. I'm just kidding. Uh, so so they're mad that he's reading a book that talks about men. Got it. I, I'm capable of changing and that um, I will broaden my... <laughs> As soon as I, as soon as I thought that I wasn't gonna get any, I thought, how can I get some? I need to think of a way. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna burn all these books and I'm gonna post on YouTube and then I'll show, they'll show the girls in my class. They'll get me laid. <laughs> all right, we'll start with one of the original transgressors, uh, Moby Dick by. Moby Dick is problematic. What? What? A transgressor is someone who has broken a particular rule or law or has done something that is generally considered unacceptable. You're going to see me looking up a lot of definitions just so I know exactly what this person is trying to say. Because... Yeah, okay, Moby Dick, problematic, got it, because it says dick in the title. That makes a lot of sense. It's dick lit. Moby Dick lit. It's all making sense now. Melville. Captain Ahab wants to spear the whale. Obvious metaphor for Melville's penis. <laughs> all right, next up is Don Quixote. Uh, I think this came out in like the 1960s or something, and it, it holds some very antiquated views towards women needing like a chivalrous protector. So uh, we're just going to get rid of it. <laughs> My guess is that this guy's favorite Star Wars character is uh, Commander Holdo, or whatever. Uh, next up we have Ulysses by James Joyce. Uh, this is really just about some guy letting his penis guide him around Dublin. Uh, complete waste of time. <laughs> My when, uh, penis. <laughs> All right, now this we have so The cringy. Public Burning by Robert Coover. Um, in this book... Uh, Richard Nixon gets literally raped by Uncle Sam, and it's supposed to be funny. Uh, I don't think so. What, you're not into (coughs) rape jokes? Fucking pussy. (coughs) Alright, next up we have the work of David Foster Wallace. Uh, Ladies, be careful if you see this on a guy's bookshelf. I'm pretty sure Wallace's goal was to rape every word in the English language. Huh? Huh? Surely you jest. (laughs) Surely you jest. Oh my god. Oh, this guy is so... (laughs) My list of people I want to YouTube box. Me and this guy have a combined 755 subscribers. Come on, KSI, I'm ready. We probably have a combined weight of 200 pounds. <laughs> oh my god. Like, I like how when he talks about David Foster Wallace, his biggest gripe with him is that his intentions were to rip every word in the English dictionary or whatever the hell he said. And he didn't. Well, I know I just paused it, but. 
you could have said something like there was a kind of a it's pretty well known fact that I guess he was terrible to women and he was uh like really bad to his like girlfriends and stuff like that which is terrible obviously a lot of creative people have done a lot of bad things in the past and uh yeah it's kind of weird ladies if so ladies if you see like and the funny thing is too it's like this that's not like an original point of view for this guy he read an article he probably google searched what books are red flags for women have revealed the red flag books he i guarantee you yeah ulysses by james joyce just one sec i'm not i've heard the name james joyce yeah you lived in the 1800s back when women had all the rights catcher in the rye fight club Surely You Infinite Jest by Gabriel Irwin. Coming soon. That's the book I'm writing right now. And uh, I've had more girlfriends than... I had more girlfriends. Period. So let's just... Be it. Okay, moving on to Thomas Pynchon's Gravity's Rainbow. Uh, this book is about some guy getting erections during World War II. Uh, it's trash. That's funny. And we'll throw in the rest of his collected works while we're at it. <laughs> the Holy Bible by... Inherent Vice. That movie sucked. That was one of the only movies that, like, my brother Dan and I were like, Hey, let's watch this. We started watching it and we're like, what the hell is this? The Holy Bible. Oh my god. Uh, this whole book is circumcised this, circumcised that. I might feel differently if there was an equal amount of female gender mutilation, but it's it's all just a bunch of dicks. Yeah, this guy doesn't know anything about dicks, except for sucking them. But anyways, um, I also don't believe in circumcision or body mutilation. I think it causes sex trauma. Alright, next up we have The Tunnel by William H. Gass. Um, that's really all I have to say about this one. That is weird. It's kind of funny though. That gives me an idea. I gotta put a I gotta put a dick and balls written in my. I gotta write that idea down. One sec. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm just trying to like find some better habits. I've been reading more and I've been writing more. And uh, that just gave me a hilarious idea. That's awesome. All right, now we have two novels by Alexander Threw. Dark and Bill's Cat has a 100-page misogynistic rant uh, that needs to be destroyed. And Laura Warholic, or the sexual intellectual, uh, just read this, the controversial essay. Creative woman is an oxymoron. The moment I read that, I just fucking threw this! Well, that is a, All right, next up we have Ducks and Berryport by Lucy. See, Alden. I'm not sexist. I love women. I do. But I, I draw the line somewhere. I'm not like, I'm not just gonna burn a book because there's a dick in it. And, uh, this book was written by a woman, but it exudes dick lit energy. So I'm starting to suspect that she's allowed her clit to metaphorically transform into a dick. I don't like the way this guy talks about JR private parts. This one is long and complex, and I don't like that. Uh, next up, we got some books by. This one is long and complex. His feminine brain cannot handle it. By Vladimir Novikov. Uh, the themes are gross in these books, and therefore I don't think anyone should read them. All right, uh, last but not least, we have the works of William T. Volman. I'm pretty sure this guy's goal is to have an overall word count uh, that is equivalent to the amount of sperm in one load of cum stored in his balls. 
One load of cum and scraped off the back of this guy's throat. He has the audacity um, as a straight white male to write about... Straight white male. Got it. Indigenous peoples, which I think is disgusting. The, the worst the worst type of per person. I'm indigenous, by the way. I could show you my uh, DNA. I've probably spent hundreds of hours of my life reading him, and I feel like I need to go to a re-education camp to um, re-normalize <sighs> Don't worry, you're in a woman's dick anti dick lit class and uh don't worry you, you'll not only be getting p you will have a pussy and you'll get everything you want my man there's ch okay i just want to bring the attention to everyone that there's children screaming in the background you hear that i did let's let's hear it again to um renormalize my life So he's obviously a part of Pizzagate. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He lives down the street from uh, Pizzagate Center. Rising up and rising down is pretty rare and worth a lot of money, but I can't run the risk of letting it infect someone else. It's worth a lot of money, but my parents pay for everything for me anyway, so I don't care. <laughs> I'm in their backyard right now. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments what I should uh, read or burn next. What a f- <laughs> He didn't even, like, fucking burn them, man. What a f dickhead. This guy- This guy embodies- <laughs> I love the part where you cut away and you don't even show what's being burned. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's see it. Uh, have a blessed day. You should burn your face off. You should burn your own face off. Stupid fucking idiot. Have a bl- uh, one, uh, Another thing too, just... He says, have a blessed day. Dude, you insinuated you are gonna burn the Bible. You're gonna be burning, man. You'll be burning, don't worry. You will, you will burn. You will be the one who burns in the end.